welcome back to my channel and today I have a really super cute Christmas DIY for you. So let me show you what you'll need to make the project. You're going to need some paint sticks from Home Depot. You're going to need one, two, three, four. You're going to need eight. And then you're going to need two packs of fairy lights from Target's Dollar Spot. They were three dollars. And then you're going to need two of the large gift bags from Dollar Tree. I chose this one. It's a big Santa. And another one with Santa feeding his reindeer. I thought they were really cute. And you're going to need a glue gun and some tape and some scissors. And that is it. So let me show you um, what we're going to do. Okay, first of all, what you're going to do is let's start with the gift bags. Let me put this down so you can see. Okay, first of all, what you need to do is, you know, there's a front and a back naturally to your gift bag. Right where that crease is, all along the side of the gift bag where it would come together and it's naturally creased when you open it up, cut all the way down through there on both sides. Then at the bottom, just cut it enough, and it doesn't have to be perfect, to where it will go over the bottom of our little box that we're going to make out of these uh, paint stir sticks. What we're going to do is make some uh, lighted pictures with these um, gift bags. So what you do is you take your paint stir sticks from Home Depot, and you can see there, and all you have to do is you cut them off. And let me see which way it was. I cut this one off right, oh, right in here. This one comes off here. On one, on two ends, you'll cut the very tip of it off. And then the, and the other two ends, you'll do, cut this much off because on this end, it's longer so you need to cut more off, okay? And on this side, it's shorter, okay? Then you just cut those off with a, a hacksaw or any type of little saw will work. I can even do this. Now, when it comes to making the little um, corner braces, I had my husband do that. It's a two by four and he just cut it and made little corner braces like this to hold this frame together. Now all we're going to do, this is so simple. Let me turn this down so you can see. All we're going to do is just take our picture frames. And as you can see, they're going to fit almost like you're wrapping a present. You just set them in. like this, okay, you just set them in, and you can see it's all right inside this little, it makes sort of like a, a present, actually. It's so hard to film this, okay. Now what we're gonna do is literally start wrapping the present. So this is where the hot glue is gonna come in. Going to take some hot glue and I'm going to put it right in here on the very top. I put it right in here all along, okay? Now all I'm going to do is just take this and just push it in like that. Okay, and we have this side done. Now we're gonna move over here to the other side. Maybe you can see it better like this. I'm just gonna put it all along through here. And then right here on these, and then I'm gonna pull it taut and push them down in. Now 
move my fairy lights. Okay. Now, we have, now what I'm going to do to this bottom so it will look nicer is I'm going to just put it right on here and just hold that in place. There you go, just like that. And I don't even know if this side actually needs it or not. I may do it just because I don't want to have anything look nasty when I'm hanging it down. Okay. Alright, that is one box done. Now, we'll put the lights on it in a minute. We're going to do the next one. Same principle. It's super, super easy. Just slip this in here, just like that. And look at it, make sure it's like you want it, and it is. Okay, then we're just going to put some glue, but put it up near the top. Pull it taut and roll it down. Okay, then we'll go to the other side. And if you wanted and you didn't want to wrap the sides, you could always just do the um, paint the side. I started to do that. And then I thought, well, this would be quicker and it would look like an actual present. So that's what I decided to do. And then I'm going to get this right here where it's kind of not down good. Put this right here. I mean, this cannot get any easier. It is so easy, but it's going to give us a really, really nice look. Okay, so that is what we have so far. All right. Now I'm going to take my light. And that, this also affords this, uh, your battery pack, a place to stay, okay? So I'm going to take my fairy lights. I'm just going to sort of take them down in here wherever I think I may want them. I don't want it on, on Santa's nose, I don't think. So I think I'll just get my tape and start taping it down just like that. You just start taping it down where you want it. Like I said, I don't really want Santa's nose to be glowing, so I don't want to put it there. light. I'd like to get in that house. Right there. Let's look and see. Okay. And we'll just take the rest of this down. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, one more. 
and then we'll flip it around and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, right here now is what we have. And it just brings that bag to life. I love it. So I'll go ahead and do the other one and then I'll come back and show you where I'm going to hang them. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back and here's the first one. I think it turned out adorable because you can put those lights wherever you want them. And it just looks like the house is just alive with people in it. And it just brightens it up. And I'll show you from the side as well. And then over here, then here is this one. And it just looks so pretty as well with the light on the top of the tree. And it looks like there's people in the houses. It's just gorgeous. But I saw these, um, actually I thought that I had come up with the idea, but I didn't. <laughs> but anyway, um, I thought, oh, I'll put lights behind bags. And then I saw a YouTube video come up and I was like, oh, well, okay, I love it anyway. I think it's a great idea. So whoever came up with this was super smart, but it's really easy to do. Uh, but I decided to do mine this way because I was going to put them in Dollar Tree frames. But I just did not have um, a frame big enough that I could use. So here they are. And let me see if I can turn down the light a little. And uh, let you kind of see that. You, so you can see them. And they're really pretty. Oh, and I'm planning on doing my Christmas home tour this Friday. If everything turns out alright. So you can keep an eye out for that. I'm really excited to show you. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys.